Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between anomer and epimer. So anomer and epimer, what are the difference? Let's start to talk about that in this particular video. The first thing is regarding the difference in which particular carbon because we are comparing two molecules and if you compare the molecules, they are made with carbon and hydrogen and oxygen, all the structures are together. So they are differing in which particular carbon that we need to know. Anomers and epimers both are stereoisomers, but anomers are stereoisomers that differ in the configuration in their anomeric carbon. Here you can see in the left hand side the example of anomers and they are differing in the anomeric carbon. So in the first example of alpha d glucopyranose, uh, the hydroxyl in, in out of the plane in the bottom while in the beta d glucopyranose hydroxyl in the top uh, in the upper part of the floor. So what we can say alpha d glucopyranose and beta d glucopyranose are examples of anomers because they are differing in anomeric carbon. So they are stereoisomers but they are differing in anomeric carbon. While epimers are stereoisomers differ in configuration at any one chiral carbon. So here are the chiral carbons connected to hydrogen in one side and hydroxyl in the other side and here you can see between D-glucose and D-galactose there is a one chiral carbon difference and that is the carbon number 4 you can see the there is a difference in how the hydroxyl is present in the D-glucose in the right side in the D-galactose in the left side. So you can say the D-glucose and D-galactose are epimers at carbon number 4. That's how the nomenclature is done. So alpha D and beta D, these are examples of anomers and uh, glucose galactose are examples of epimers at carbon number 4. Next thing is about the molecular shape. The anomers are always in cyclical form as you can see alpha D glucopyranose, beta D glucopyranose, while epimers can be cyclic or non-cyclic. Examples of such uh, anomers, alpha D fructofuranose and beta D fructofuranose or alpha D glucopyranose, beta D glucopyranose. Well, epimers example D glucose, D galactose at epimer uh, at carbon number 4 or D erythrose and the trios are also another example of epimers. So this is all about the difference between anomer and epimer. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.